Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the category of Best Documentary Short. Now, there's no getting around this, the short film categories are the hardest to predict. You have a bit of a better chance if you've seen all the nominated films, but I haven't seen any of them. And really, it's just blind guesswork. You can make a bit of an educated guess, but last year in my predictions I got all three of the short categories wrong. And just to rub it in even further, in all three of the categories, my predicted number two was the one that ended up winning. So make of that what you will. Here we go. Fifth most likely to win is heroin. Now, I'm just going to be reading the synopsis for this short film off the official Academy website. It says, Huntington, West Virginia, known as the overdose capital of America, sees an average of five to seven deaths from drug overdoses every day. Three women, a fire chief, a drug court judge, and the head of an outreach ministry, are attempting to take back the community by using compassion to break the cycle of despair and addiction. So this is basically about drug addiction to heroin. It's very simple. Um, it seems interesting enough. I don't know. Maybe it just seems too basic to me. And again, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of these. But this just seems like the number five choice. And sometimes you don't have a lot of reasoning. You just have blind guesswork and instincts. And I'm going to trust my instincts with this category. Fourth most likely to win is Traffic Stop. The synopsis for this one. In June 2015, a 26-year-old African-American elementary school teacher named Rhiannon King was pulled over by a white police officer for a routine traffic stop. The incident escalated into a violent arrest, followed by a conversation about race in America between King and another white officer while he drove her to the station. Okay, so this is a story that we've seen many, many times before. Uh, African-American citizens being treated unfairly by white police officers. And it's sad that we keep seeing this same type of scenario play out over and over again in America but that's just the country we live in, and hopefully things will change. But as for this particular short, I don't know. I think the fact that it just feels stale will prevent a lot of people from wanting to vote for it. Third most likely to win is Knife Skills. The synopsis for this one. In 2013, restaurateur Brandon Tritowski is about to launch Edwin's Leadership and Restaurant Institute in Cleveland. Aiming to become the best traditional French restaurant in America, the Edwin's Eatery is staffed primarily with men and women recently released from prison, who have only six weeks to learn the skills that will better their lives and propel the new venture to success. I like the premise of this one. When I was voting, when I was predicting the nominees, uh, the premise was enough to, I predicted this, this would be nominated, and it was, and I'm happy about it. I don't think it's going to appeal to enough people to give it the win. I think, uh, it's intriguing, but I just can't imagine. You have to think about what Academy voters like to vote for in this category. And usually it's something important or something depressing uh, or something artistic, which brings us to the second most likely to win. Heaven is a traffic jam on the 405. Synopsis, artist Mindy Alper has spent almost all of her 56 years combating severe depression and anxiety using medication, electroconvulsive therapy, and psychiatry to help her. Art has always been her most effective outlet, with drawing and sculpture offering her the tools to give voice to her fears and mental battles. So this is focused on a single person with art as a key theme and also depression. So I think naturally because everyone who votes for the Academy is in their own way an artist, uh, they're going to appeal. This short will appeal to them. And don't be surprised if this one wins. Honestly, given my track record, it might be the winner. But I'm not actually going to predict it. My prediction is going to be Edith plus Eddie. Sorry, number one prediction to win, Edith, Eddie. I messed that up. I'm sorry. But film synopsis, in 2014... 96-year-old Edith Hill and 95-year-old Eddie Harrison are married, unconcerned that one is African-American and the other is white. The newlyweds are forced to part, however, when one of Edith's daughters, unhappy about the relationship, forces her mother to leave her Virginia home and move to Florida. So this is a story about the world's oldest interracial couple. And that, I think, gives it the edge, because they like important stories, and they like 
films about old people in this category. And that's just a simple fact about Documentary Shore. That's what they like to vote for. Okay, actually, now that I'm saying that loud, part of me is kind of thinking I should vote for Heaven as a traffic jam on the 405. It really, it's close, uh, but th this, I think, has to be the front runner. And I feel if I change my vote to Heaven as a traffic jam, then that will end up not winning anyway. I, I don't even know what to say in the, in the short categories. You just got to get them out of the way because they're impossible to predict. But Edith plus Eddie feels like your winner because it's an important story. It's a very, very critically lauded documentary. And the fact that it's about elderly people and an important topic makes me feel that it's going to contend. And I'm, I'm just going to trust my gut. It could be one of the others too. It's again impossible to predict this, but Edith and Eddie just feels like the front runner. Okay, man, it's impossible to predict these categories, but uh, okay, that's that's my prediction. Edith plus Eddie, I'm sticking with it. Okay, tune in tomorrow where I will be taking a look at the category of best supporting actor.